A well, summer program empowering local kids to pick up a book and make a difference in their community. Freedom School is a legacy of the 1964 Freedom Schools in Mississippi. Civil rights activists formed them to educate African American children. 13 ABC's Christian Brown takes us inside. It's 8.30 in the morning and these Freedom School scholars are getting hype about the day. The six-week summer literacy program is getting students excited about reading so they can avoid the summer slide. What makes Freedom School different is that it's literacy. It's a literacy and social action program. So they come in and they go into their IRCs, which is integrated reading curriculum, and they read with their servant leader interns. Before these scholars even open a book, they chant and sing songs. I, I know I can make it. It's musical affirmations to get their minds ready to learn. We make it engaging, we make it fun, um, we make it creative so that children want to read. Our total goal is that every child will want to pick up a book. Today they have a guest reader who traveled all the way from Buffalo, New York. Mama Comfort got very sick. She reads to them before they head into their individual classrooms for more literacy activities. When our children are reading, many children can just read the words, but can you comprehend what you read? So those activities that are associated with the book that they're doing at the present time is very important. <laughs> School serves first through eighth graders. The summer enrichment program has been offered for three years at the Monroe Street Neighborhood Center. It's not just reading, it's about other stuff that is happening in the world. We read poems about gun violence sometimes. Kids say the program also tackles history, social justice, and the importance of voting. You have parents coming in and asking, why is my child asking me am I a registered voter? The goal is to build solid readers and the next generation of community-minded leaders. Something inside. In Toledo, Christian Brown, 13 ABC, Action News. Well, the Children's Defense Fund hosts almost 200 current day freedom schools in cities across the country. The program is free. It is made possible by private donors like the Toledo Community Foundation, the Stranahan Foundation, Fifth Third Bank, and local churches. Mm -hmm.